Hello and welcome. This is Wilker and this is my Let's Play series. Um, just been cleaning up the base here. I'm hanging out uh, with Steven on the server. Hi Steven, we're recording. Okay, cool. I'll make sure not to do anything particularly stupid. <laughs> Or I'll make sure too, who knows. So, uh, what we've been working on here is um, getting the base cleaned up, because it's a mess. So, I just connected um, all of our farms over to our centralized sorting system. And next on the agenda here is to make kind of an auto-crafting area. So, the plan here, I'll show you guys, is to... Oh, did you wall up that... My hole I made? No, I I don't think so. Maybe accidentally. Where's where was your hole? Oh, uh, maybe it was on the first floor. Yeah, I know the hole back to outside. No, I don't think so. Mm. Maybe I'm just dumb. Alright, so anyway, so the plan here is to um hollow out uh this area kinda behind and below the wood room and turn it into a auto crafting area, plus clean up all of our storage, get our auto system going. Um, Steven converted our LP boiler to an HP boiler, so it is rocking, producing over a million steam. Without a single blast furnace. Thank you very much. <laughs> Without a single blast furnace, somehow. I'll let you figure out how I did that one. So what I want to do is automate all of the processing and distribution. And we're gonna do that with uh, logistics pipes because I don't know how to do it with AE and I don't think AE is gonna be as efficient as logistics pipes. So, um, so the basic resources that we have to create and use are what, charcoal mostly? Hmm? What else do we use besides charcoal? Um, well, metals. But, um, yeah, that stuff will autom automatically process when it enters the system. I mean, what do we need to what do we need to create? Um, it'd be cool if we could get all those like Zycraft crystals turned into ingots and the the blocks that they come up with, because otherwise they're kind of useless. Okay, that's pretty simple. So we can do all that. Um, I'm trying to think of something <clears throat> else. What I'm going to do is uh, finish hollowing out this area here. So I think I'm going to build a combination of a couple of machines that have crafting pipes for LP. And then we'll also build an ME crafting facility. Or, I'm sorry, an uh, Applied Energistics crafting facility. So that we can do some of the uh, um, more complex crafting right through there, since it automatically can uh, recognize dependent recipes. I had no idea it could do that, actually. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Dang, I really want to start with Thomcraft stuff so I can have a portable hole and I don't have to bother with doors anymore, but they don't have wisps, so. <laughs> can do it in age. There's a, there's a trade off there. <clears throat> Alright, so we're hollowing, we're hollowing. The one downside of hollowing this out is I think I'm going to lose some of my cool wooden log piers. You want this wood? You want this gone right here? This little lump? Uh, yeah, I got it though. Um, what I do need is uh probably so I think the wood room is going to be an internal room, but I think the basement here should be an external room. So we need some stone or stone bricks. Yeah, I think we have a ton of stone. Do. do you want bricks or stone? I don't know. What do you think? For a basement? Hmm. Now let's go with stone bricks. I like stone bricks. Okay. Or gold bricks. I don't think we have the gold for that. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Alright, so the plan here... We actually have 14 stone. Awesome. Time to smelt. Yeah, the induction furnace. I'll get that cut yeah. up real quick. Uh, I know in my last episode I said I was going to build that, um, build a cool thing right here to manage our fuel supply, but uh, I can't do that till we have a string. So we've got a flax farm. 
Oh, um, string. I have you string. How much? How much did you like need? Five stacks. Okay, you have. Uh, yeah, this is about five stacks. Where'd you get five stacks of string? Spiders. Ah, okay. Well, it's four and a half stacks. I can make you another stack real quick, though. Did you set up a spider farm, or...? I just nabbed some out of under the trees, uh -huh. and out of some, um... cave spider spawners in... mine shafts. I see. Yeah, if you want to look at the... I actually kind of updated the mob farm after dimensional doors exploded, so... Oh, okay, yeah, I'll go check a look it's, at it. Um, it's a little bit, it's just like some s spawners with switches on them. Cool. Uh, would you use the MFR spawners or? No, um, soul shards for this one because the ones that were spawning, are, they're kind of easy to get the shards oh, for. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can reach that lever down there. All right. All right, so uh, I'm going to finish hollowing this out and make uh, walls and stuff, and uh, I will be back. So I uh, walled this whole room in, and uh, actually, Steve and I have spent a lot of time moving stuff around, so um, I moved all this conduit over, got it all out of the way, cleaned up this uh, f um, pipe. So now we have a single pipe that feeds right into our main sorting system from all the farms and everything. I think Steven added a farm over here too, didn't you, Steven? Um, added farm? Oh, I made the wheat farm, farm reeds, and I'm working on the mob farm right now. Oh, okay. Um, I had a torch in that old cow farm that's gone now, and now it looks like it'll spawn mobs there. Well, that's fine, because they'll just fall into the pit and die, so... No, in the cow farm, in the old cow farm. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Um, and then, uh, we got a little bit sidetracked and, uh, moved all of our storage up into the wood room. So. <laughs> a little bit sidetracked. Is this, uh, was this, is this like an altar? Oh Any yeah, that's, that's your present. That's your. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my presents to you were better than this. I know, I did, I had to do it, I, I had to return it somehow. Alright, so, I gave you um. As you can see, uh, this has been this room has been expanded quite a lot. Right now, what I've done is um, I've run logistics chassis Mark IIs to the backs of all these DSUs, and right now the purpose is just to have them dump the correct item in them. Um, we did a little bit of an experimentation, and it looks like if you do a supplier pipe from logistics pipes into an ME interface that's connected to your network, that um, you can definitely get some, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of feedback here. Let me go check and see, on this, see if this is picking it up on the recording. All right, we're back in. I think uh, we fixed that little echo that I was having. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay, so what was I talking about? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we figured out that logistics... Uh, pipes networks can actually supply ME networks if you set them up the right way. Um, I got to do another experiment to see if um, if I can make these DSUs work uh, purely with the ME network, but we'll see if we can figure that out. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, you see here we have all these DSUs set up um, in the loop. Um, I still have kind of the ghetto uh, export bus here to uh, push stuff back out of the loop if we need to. And then um, we set up a, uh, an I.O. port here and a preformatter. So you can see uh, we've got a big cell preformatted with um, a bunch of, uh, I don't know, I guess the random stuff that Steven decided was going to fill up, fill up all the little ones. Yeah, just like stuff that wasn't big enough to put in a DSU, but it's just random stuff. Right. Sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry Stay about that? So anyway, um, Steven, you know I was talking about how we could do uh, what you were talking about in a smarter way with uh, logistics pipes? Yeah. All right, so um, we can do that real quick if you want to see how to do it. Let's do this. I'm actually like caught inside a conveyor belt right now, so I'm going to have to wait a minute. But Have I recorded the new mob farm yet? 
Uh, no, you haven't recorded yet because it's not done yet. Oh. So don't don't come recording. Okay, yet. I won't come down there yet. So let's see. Uh. I guess I really need to do some more experiments with the um, with the ME system before I can completely plan out these auto crafting things. But uh, anyway, we got this a lot uh, a lot more sophisticated. Um, we have everything dumping into the main loop now, so we don't have any crazy storage anywhere else except. Uh, <laughs> in the... We used to have these little pockets of storage. Yeah, just from random like places. there's four DSUs over below the farm. There's how many did we pull out from the mob farm? Six, eight. It was eight, yeah. Yeah, and you left the XP one down there. Yeah, we left that one. So, uh, also by the way, uh, uh, Bing jumped on the server. What are you up to, Mr. Bing? Uh, just creeping on what you guys are working on right now. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable. I just, uh... I like this setup with the logistics pipes on the DSUs because it's going to let me just stack DSUs and then have yeah. the pipes running into the back of them. I'm worried about with ME that, um... It won't, uh... I'll have to use two pipes to get stuff in and out of them. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Um, plop down an interface, plop down a DSU. Let's tell it to export. Um, let's see here. How about Flint? I thought I put Flint in the um, bulk one. Hmm. Uh, you, uh, it's not. you may have. I, it's still going to show up in the terminal, though. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about it was in a DSU. Mm -mm. Alright, so let's see what happens if I go here and I tell it to export Flint. See, I don't think that's going to do anything. really disappointing um well that's not what that it's not what this block's made for but what i want to know is if i do i need to pick a lower oops, i need to pick a lower quantity item here so let's see here we go we have uh, i try to avoid low quantity at all cost four red alloy wires so let me throw this in this dsu And let's go back over here. See, and it doesn't see it. Hmm. Wow, I ran out of cobblestone. I haven't very often. I wonder if I'm just misremembering the block that I should be looking for. Because there is a... Oh, I wonder if I can do it with the storage bus. Hmm. Let's try that. But the problem is if I use a storage bus, I don't think, well, we'll try it. Let's try it. Hmm, looks like we're actually getting that DSU glitch happening again. I'm going to break it and put it back down. See if that fixes it. It should. And it did. And just make sure the sides are all, okay, they're all set to end. All right, yep. good. Um, yeah, that'd be bad. Do we lose, do we just lose 100,000 cobble? Out of the four, out of the half a million we have, yes, probably so. Ugh, my cob, my cobble backbone. So here's what will we ever do without all of our cobble. Here's what I'm thinking might work. All right. Pardon me while I step on your oh, Enderman. Here's our storage bus. 
Okay, now the storage bus will definitely show up in here now. Oh, did you put pages in the uh, ME system? There's um, there shouldn't... I didn't put any in, but I imagine there might be a few, like, left over. There are. They're freaking out. Okay. The game, they yeah, they don't render. The game is not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No idea what to do with them. So, okay, so I have red... Okay, so now the four red alloy wires show up. And let's see what happens. Can I take one? Yes. Well, that worked. And let's see if I put one back in, where does it go? That's the concern I have. Oh, it went back into the DSU. Okay, we can just use storage buses for all this. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, someone smart made something work right. Wow. Okay, so... I love intelligently designed software. We'll just use the logistics pipe system to process all the raw resources. And then we'll immediately spit that into the ME system, uh, which means this chest can go back down here on the other end. And then we will pump. You know what I'm, you know what I worry about? Uh, the chest getting backed up because with the, um, extractor on it. No, the import bus getting backed up. That's right. We'll check it out. We'll see how it goes. Two. But yeah, so we need like a, we need like, we need to just make a ton of those storage buses. Yeah. Which is fine. All right. So the next thing I want to do here is, um, I need to make a ton of bundled cable. I need 60 times. Gosh, I guess. Wait, you need, you need some string? Yeah, I noticed you got there some you go. string. Um, I, need, I doubt you uh, can make bundled cables as fast as I'm making string right now. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> it, would, it would be tricky. So, I do remember why I made... Uh, oh, wow. I completely forgot that we don't have any red power going yet. There's an alloy furnace? Yeah. One. <laughs> one manual one, right? It's not even like a yep. blue electric one? Uh, nope. No, actually, it, it's in the ME system. I broke it because I wasn't using it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, once again, broken promises. I'm going to have to work on that build after we get um, after we get some red power infrastructure going. What I'll probably do is, since we're getting rid of all this stuff up here, is I'll probably use this room for an automatic red power battery charger and also all the red power stuff just because uh moving having the solars far away from red power machines is kind of a pain but yeah okay that'll work um we can make those giant windmills those are so cool <laughs> i don't i don't know man the windmills don't do a lot for me but yeah they are cool oh my gosh they're the best i just meant from a practicality standpoint Really? I thought they generated a lot more power than, um... Yeah, but they're little, huge. Uh, I'd rather have, like, a 6x6 six six solar fire on top of my house. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'll put them on my house instead. <laughs> Do you have a house yet? Um... He's got a site picked out. I have a site, yes. You have a hole in a wall in the middle of a lake. That's a sight, if I've ever... <laughs> I have a door. I gotta I got find a volcano, and I have to get a bunch of... Oh, I, uh... uh spoil spoilers. I bookmarked one. Well, I have to... I, I mean, finding one's not the problem. It is being productive and going and put a quarry on it. <laughs> that's the problem. Fair enough. Yeah, I think everything... All the mods just seem to completely ignore... Uh, what side of the DSU it would prefer to output on. <laughs> Which is fun. Um, yeah, I think the only one that cares is Buildcraft, just vanilla pipes. Probably. Yeah. I'm calling Buildcraft vanilla, because it really feels like it now. <laughs> Alright, so down here we'll get our auto-crafting going, but we are once again out of quartz. 
and uh, it's all Steven's fault, much like everything else that goes wrong on this server. <laughs> but hey, we have more storage space than... We, we can store Minecraft in Minecraft now. <laughs> I'm dumping my inventory. So you've had me that storage space. What happened? <laughs> All right, that looks a lot better. Cool. Put the hacksaw away. Oh, I still have a stone sword. Oh, there's tons of stone swords in here now. Are they back in the crafting system? Yeah, they're just getting dumped in here. Well, here, why don't you move? Where, where'd you go? I'm right here. You're invisible. I am? Are you in the room with me? Oh no, I'm in the room with Mr. Bing. Oh, okay. Yeah, kick over. It looks here. like Freddy Krueger. So, over here I have a chest with a uh, auto arctic gate and a uh, uh, void pipe. What you can do is, uh, if you want to set that up down here in the basement. Okay, and I'll just connect funnel it. off all those guys. We'll connect it to the LP system and give it an item sync for... Uh, any of those mob things you don't want to keep. Yeah. I mean, it's not on right now, so... Let's see, actually, how many do we have? Oh, we don't have very many. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So you leave it on, and there's 10 million <laughs> XP globes and 47 <laughs> swords. I can't, I can't believe... I was expecting there's going to be mobs everywhere, and that was crashing. No, it was XP, XP bobs. <laughs> Whatever they're called. I'm tired, I need to go sleep soon. I uh, am excited about making all these DSUs work with with uh, applied energistics. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how that's going to turn out. Yeah, so we need to get a uh, pattern thingy majigger. I made a pattern. No, I didn't make one. I, I encoder? almost made one. I almost made one. I didn't get around to it. No, you did. I did. You did. Hey, then. You have a pattern encoder now. Oh, and the pattern encoder doesn't have to be on the network. That's nice. Can you move your portal? Mm -hmm. Can you close your portal? Thanks. There you go. Ah, man, these things don't have faces on them. That's kind of sad. Uh, what do I want this? Let's see. I'll leave it there for now. Okay. So we have a pattern encoder. We have... Uh, we just need to build the blank... Uh, blank patterns. Oh, wow. Blank patterns take uh, glowstone and quartz. Yeah, we're not doing great on resources again. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, once those quarries get down to not cobble, we'll be set. Yeah, tell me again why you set them up in extreme hills. Was because, that for emeralds? Well, emeralds, and you get a little bit more of everything. I I don't know if that I don't know if that still happens when you use non vanilla really? terrain gen. Dang. Well, I know you I know you get emeralds because I found some. I like just it has some caves in there. All right. I mean, I can go set up one on um like a ocean without ocean. No, we can get okay. real some real fast. Yeah, no, it's okay. So, uh, man, I think we're in really good shape. Uh, we got the DSUs rolling. We got uh, ME expansion going. We've got uh, a new mob farm that we'll see uh, whenever Steven's done with it. It is actually complete. Oh, okay. Well, let's go do Once that. Once I install the lever that makes it controllable. I'm gonna uh, grab some apples. Yeah, I was going to actually cut this episode a little bit short, but since you have something cool to show us, let's go do that. Well, it'll be short. Or not. There's lots of stuff down there. What in the world is this thing? Ocelots collect in the trapdoor for some reason. There's always three or four right there. <laughs> Am I coming down or... Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's right here. So... In... <laughs> Just hook them all together? Oh my gosh. Getting... Yeah, don't stand too close. They hit you. Yeah. Can we put... Ah, no, they're escaping. Can we put, like, a glass wall in or something? How are they... Oh, no, the spiders. They're aggroing us. We need to go downstairs so they're not... They don't try to kill us. 
Ah, 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 there's one here. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't quite finished yet. But, All right, you know. I knocked him down. Just, just come down through the door. It works fine. Oh, wow. Well, and on that note, uh, <laughs> as XP and spiders rain down on us, spiders still aren't dying. What's that all about? Uh, they'll, they'll, oh, Mr. Bing oh, died. No, my they, God. they killed themselves eventually. You just killed Mr. Bing. <laughs> no, the cave spider killed Mr. Bing. Uh huh. He's probably AFK. Whoa. Yeah, blame <laughs> Steven. Was. Once again, blame Steven. Pretty much everything on the server that happens is Steven's fault. Oh, holy crap, there's spiders everywhere. Oh my gosh. I just spawned in my grinder. <laughs> hey, look, um, someone's items. I wonder who these I'd are. like to dedicate the end of this episode to Ash Momo, <laughs> who loves spiders. Thank right. you guys so I much. Know, I don't know how they're getting out now. This isn't supposed to be happening. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Wilker, and uh, I promise I'll get to that uh, fuel tank build here. And so uh, is it safe to come back, or is no. it still spider death? No, it is okay. definitely not safe to come back. <laughs> and uh, wrap up the. Uh, okay, I think I killed them all. The the ME system here, uh, really yeah, quick. You should, you should be safe. I'll see you guys next time.